Hey guys, it's Kaz here, aka Cats and Camera, and today I'm doing my March favourites. And first up, I'm just going to talk about this blackboard. Anybody that's seen any of my videos will see that I always do my thumbnails of this now, and I use it in any tag videos to like write stuff on. And yeah, I got this off eBay. I can't remember exactly how much it was, I think it was like £9 or something. It's also magnetic, but I've not really used that, but it's a cool feature. <laughs> um, if I can find this, I'll put it in the link so you can check it out. But I thought that's a pretty good price for a blackboard this big. So now I've got the blackboard out of the way, I'm just going to talk about a few other things. This is not going to be as structured as my February one, where I put like a little card in each one, like book, and then said my book, and then TV and said my TV. I'm not going to do that this month, I'm just going to kind of like talk about everything, so... It's all going to be smushed into one anyway. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is this jumper. I love this jumper, it's so comfortable. And it was just a spur of the moment kind of thing. I was out and it was cold and I needed another jumper so I got this from Asda, like George Asda bit, the clothing they do. I think it was like 12 99 or something. And it's genuinely like the most comfortable jumper I've ever owned, it's so nice. And also in just the sort of random things. This toothpaste, it's uh, Beverly Hills Formula Charcoal Toothpaste, it's the black one. I don't know if people have seen adverts or whatever for this. And I picked this one up because I know that charcoal is obviously a natural whitener, so I thought maybe it'll help it out. And it does. It's actually really good. I feel like my teeth are whiter and it doesn't feel abrasive. It's not really strong so I'm liking this. Next the reason that everybody is here probably my favourite read of March and that was Chew Volume 6 Space Cakes this is by John Lehman and Rob Guillory or Guillory I'm not sure how his last name's pronounced I really should get on that and check it but this was such a great issue I'll give this 5 out of 5 it's just there was funny bits, there was shocking bits, there was a nice little one shot in there about Poyo. It's just a really great read and you should definitely check this series out. I say it all the time. Here are a few pages. I've mentioned the artwork in this before, how I just really like the way they do it. There's, I think that's the beginning of the uh, Poyo one shot. But yeah, I just really like the way that this is drawn and the story is amazing as well. So. You should definitely check that out. Well, obviously start at the beginning, but check this series out. It's great. At the start of March, I started learning Norwegian on Duolingo. I wanted to learn this because... Partly because of scam, but also... I'm going to Norway in October and I wanted to know how to speak the language at least a little bit because what's the point of going to a different country and not experiencing everything that you can so first I started off watching videos on YouTube but then I saw in the comments someone mentioned Duolingo so I got on that and it's actually really good the way they do it at school I always thought that I wasn't very good at learning different languages like we did French and we did Spanish for like one year and I always felt like I was really bad at learning languages but it's just the way they teach at school, they just kind of blitz through everything and you forget everything but on Duolingo you can go back, you can do the same section like numerous times so you learn it better and yeah it's just really good and anybody that's looking to learn a language I definitely recommend Duolingo Oh hello me from the future I'm recording another video right now and I randomly remembered that I got my passport, my first ever passport in March and somehow I forgot to mention it in this favourites video so I'm mentioning it now. Obviously the best thing about March was getting a passport, I can go abroad. I talked about Norway and I forgot to talk about the fact that I actually got a passport for the first time in my life. So yes, that is the best bit, that is my favourite bit of March. So to be honest, in March I didn't really listen to that much or watch that much um, but I'll mention a few things anyway. So at the beginning of March I photographed Decade. 
who are a British band and I got really nostalgic for them because they don't play any of their old stuff now, they've kind of moved away from the sort of British pop punk that they were and they sound completely different and they don't play their old songs. So while I was editing them pictures I got on a really big decade thing and I was listening to all that old stuff. I actually made a playlist because it was easier than listening to the CDs so I'll link that below if anybody wants to check them out. Like I say it's the older stuff so they don't really sound like that anymore. But also in the playlist if you do check it out it will probably be a bit confusing because the first EP I couldn't find it on YouTube for ages and then I realised it was under their old name Ready Set Low. So if you do check out the playlist then the first like five songs or are under Ready Set Low but it is the same band. Film and TV wise I watched a few films. Um, I saw Logan. I liked it, I did feel like it was a little bit too long. You know when you sat watching a film and you think, oh this is going on a bit, that it's obviously not completely grabbed your whole attention for you to notice that it's really long. But I did enjoy it, but I did feel like it dragged a little bit. Watched Departure, I think it's called Departure. Where it's like a this British family that are in France, they're kind of closing up their old holiday home because the parents are having issues and it's sort of like a coming of age as well with the the kid the guy of the family and he becomes friends with this french guy that was I, I enjoyed that it wasn't amazing i've seen a lot of critics and a lot of people talk about how amazing the film is i didn't think it was amazing i thought it was quite good um i did enjoy it i also watched closet monster which has connor jessup is that his name he was in the second season of American Crime. He played the main guy in the second season. And I kind of enjoyed that as well. It was a bit weird. It was, again, it was like a coming of age storage. Storage? Again, it was like a coming of age story. But it was sort of weird as well because the main character, played by Connor, his hamster talked to him. So there's sort of like weird stuff going on. But it was also like more of a, a metaphor or more kind of in his head and yeah I enjoyed that as well. Nothing really stood out as amazing but there was a there are a few things that I did enjoy. And in terms of TV I don't think I actually watched anything like particularly noteworthy. I've been watching as I'm sure if you saw my last favourites of February I have been sort of catching up on Supernatural so I carried on doing that but I mentioned that last month so I'm not going to mention that again as like a favourite. I guess what I've been watching the most of is um, the storyline of Sonny and Will from Days of Our Lives. I found it on YouTube which is annoying because I was like a hundred and something into it and then the channel got shut down because of copyright blah 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 but I think it's on Daily Motion so I'm going to carry it on. But yeah I was really enjoying that. Um, just Will, I love him, he's he's my son, I love Will so much, don't really care about Sonny. So I'm going to be so sad when the actor for Will changes because I know that that happens. Like the old actor wanted to go back to school and then they got a new person in. And I'm so not looking forward to that because I love Will so much, he's amazing. But I think that's why I've kind of like fell off it because the channel's shut and because I know that that's coming. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. I'm sure anybody that's American watching this knows what Days of Our Lives is like an American soap. Really dramatic, really over the top. But, like I say, Will just captivate, captivated me and I had to watch it. It's one of those things, you know it's bad, but it's also just, you need to consume it. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I kind of watched and did and bought in March. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I say, it's not as structured as the last one. Maybe because most things weren't really stand out. Kind of the only thing that really stood out specifically was the volume of Chew. Everything else is kind of like bits and bobs. But we'll see next month. I might do it like this again or I might do it more structured if I find something of this, 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 this and this that's the best. We shall see. Comment below if you've seen or done or purchased or used any of the things that I mentioned or if not comment below your favourites in March. If you enjoyed this video and want to check out more then subscribe. I'll leave a link below to my 
um, original April Fool's book tag because I really enjoyed doing that and I want any everyone to see it so if you want to check out if you want to see what other videos I do then that's one to check out first it will be great so yeah that's it and thanks for watching I'll see you in a few days bye